when it gets to the Final Four in the last decade, it's either St. Francis or it's Northview. Yeah, they've been the two powers that have really dominated this area. Maybe not necessarily dominated. They've each had some uh, great battles over the years, and some of the other teams that we'll talk about uh, have certainly come up and uh, given some good pressure to those guys. But Northview, uh, when you look at the Northview Wildcats, Matt, Austin Milwalk to me is where it all starts. The young netminder, he really took over for them as it went along, just as a sophomore last year, and he became their number one goaltender. He was the man who went in between the pipes in the playoff. He's the guy that, uh, you know, you have to be excited about. Is, uh, you talked about Jackson Smalley for St. Francis. We could talk about Austin Nowak a lot for the Northview Wildcats. If Northview makes a big run, he's going to be a huge part of it. Maybe not as talented of a team, Northview, as in years past, as far as a run-and-gun kind of style. They got a great shutdown defense, and it starts with that goalie, Austin Nowak. I love him. He could be the top goaltender in the league. Jackson Smalley might have some problems with that. Some other guys might have problems. But if Austin Nowak can get the defense in a little bit of scoring, then Northview will be all right. Benny Wheels, Tristan yeah. Harrell up front, they can score. But if you look at Riley Ames, Mikey Burton, and they moved Elliott back to defense this year, I know you like Landon Elliott. A lot. And the guy they're missing right now is a senior, Tucker Ludwig. He's out sick. If he can come back healthy, that's a top four D that I really like. With that goaltending, it might not be six to four, five to three. They might have to win some two to one games, but I like the Wildcats.